What's up everybody, it's Chris from Games Played here and I'm back with another episode in our Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play. As always, if you're enjoying the series, consider liking and subscribing, it's free, it means a lot to me, and you can always unsubscribe later, so there's really no reason not to. Uh, in the last episode, we took Vengeance on a raid, got some enchants, we're now set up pretty well. I also got mending off camera for like my shovel and hoe and all that good stuff. Anyways, we had a creeper blow up at the back of our house, so I'm now kind of fortifying it, gonna build a bigger box around our house and then destroy our old dirt house. We'll have a bit more room to work with. Um, I actually don't have enough books to even replace uh, the bookshelves that got blown up by the creeper, so we'll have to fix that later, but we got all the enchants for now. So we are just going to finish. Uh, doing this, throwing in a ceiling, and then we are going to get ready to head to the nether. Bookshelves, so my enchanting stuff is kind of messed up, but at the same time, at least I had finished what I was doing. I, I don't think I need the enchanting table, at least for a little bit. Um, so my plan is to locate a good spot to go down and start dynamiting. To find netherite we're going to use that method and then we're going to come back and i'll have to form like a whole bunch of sand somewhere i was going to go exploring in the overworld too at that point but i want to get in the nether and just kind of see what's going on since we just saw our spawn and left last time um is there anything else i need in here we got uh everything but our enchanting stuff fixed I think we're good to go we even have like diamonds left over and stuff this is this is a good playthrough i feel like we're gonna beat the dragon in this one um let's go ahead and eat up before we go and off we go the only thing i worry about is really getting knocked into the lava like that seems like something hit us oh there's an invisible spider here what an asshole God darn that. Okay, obviously the first thing we really need to do, and that's why I bl brought blocks, is we need to uh, make this a little safer. Which is dangerous in and of itself. To make it safe, we got to... We are on a lake of lava, guys. Ooh, I need to go ahead and swap this out real quick. As much as I hate to put on a gold chest plate when I got a super nice enchanted one. There's hoglands over there. However, what I don't know is if this lake lava keeps going down. Hmm. This is definitely stuff we'll need to explore. Yeah, this part will most likely be cut. But honestly, this is way better than farming Endermen. Although I have looting three. Honestly, Endermen probably wouldn't be that bad. So what I need is another trash hole too. For me, for all of this junk that he keeps giving me, sure it would be nice if we could get like, uh, I don't know, some ender pearls. And I love the videos like Dream when he does like his man hunts. I like he'll sit there and trade with them, and, and like it shows just like bam, he's got like 17 pearls, and it's like, dude, I'll trade like three stacks of gold and maybe won't even get enough. If he doesn't give me enough pearls, I'm, I uh, put a box on top of him, and he stays there forever. If he gives me at least 16 ender pearls for all this gold, I will break that block and allow him to be free. Guys, I think I'm going to continue trading with this guy the rest of my gold. I will come back and show you what we get. So... It looks like they failed the game. They did give us a total of 10. But a bunch of fire resistance potions is not going to solve my problem. So, naturally, y'all can keep whatever gets knocked back in. Goodbye. Yep, they can just kind of hang out there now. There's four of them now in there, by the way. It's not just uh, a couple anymore. <laughs> Eh, let's throw out some stuff. I'm probably going to have to make a trip back to store some stuff now. Which is actually fine. I and our portal should be right through here. Alright, let's go throw some stuff off the edge. Nope. I'm not going to do that here. 
staying near an edge of a lake of lava does not sound like a smart decision and hardcore. Now we just have this big brick box. We've upgraded from a dirt box to a stone box. We skipped wood altogether. When our doors look like these dainty little things, so I could just like reach in and just break them right apart. I guess we'll put them there. We got a ton of leather now, so we'll be set on that. We can actually easily remake our bookshelves when we feel like it. I think I might go down there and mine and then go in one direction as far as I can to start with. The goal is to eventually, uh, assuming that we can make like a nice long straight line, we're going to come back and bring a whole lot of dynamite. I'm going to go find somewhere that has a lot of, uh, so anyway, right here looks like a good spot to me. So I'm hoping these magna blocks don't just go to lava. I definitely thought that this would go better. <laughs> I might need to come up with a new plan. New plan. I need an elytra right now. How do I get to the end without killing the dragon? Just to remember again, we had 50-50. We can get back to 50-50. We can find our portal. I'm just going to kind of head that direction and see what we come across, I guess. This whole thing is a bit of a mess, to be honest. Like, I was expecting... It used to be like there was only the nether waste, and it looks like we might need to dig, actually. Just to get across here. Hops out, that's good, too. Hey, look at that. We're right where we need to be. In the exact same spot we were a minute ago. I'm just gonna kinda head off in this direction. See if we find something a little better. I wouldn't mind digging a hole, like, all the way. It looks like, okay. The lava lake. Okay, we're up higher at this. So this is kind of looking like it might go into maybe nether waste. We're lower. We're closer to ancient debris. So I know ancient debris spawns the best at a certain level. Ooh, yeah, that would be death. Yeah, so coming out lower is actually better, so it looks kind of like nether waste. I mean, I don't want to say we're in nether waste for sure. Is it just the side block that's like a source? Or are we at like a lava lake is what I need to know. So just be very careful. Ooh, -wee. let's uh, regenerate. We need to be very careful here, guys. What's up everyone? I was so lost so I ended up just going back towards my portal until I knew like I could see my portal and I picked a different direction and it was much better. I ended up making a staircase down. I was lost so I actually didn't like say anything during that entire time so it was like a 20 minute period where I was just like lost just running around. But anyway we made a staircase down and we are now at Y15 and we're gonna search for netherite. I don't want to see as if every direction I go is lava. The other thing is we need to find another fortress. Oh, ancient debris right here. One, two, and two's okay. Better than one. Ooh, let's pick it up though. Yeah. So my goal, and the reason I'm making this long line, is I'm going to come back with a ton of TNT and blow the hell out of this one chunk border. At least we found a couple for our first trip down here. This is a very slow and tedious process, but when we come back, we are blowing this place up. Still can't believe those piglins didn't give us, like, anything. The one bad thing about dynamite, though, is if we come and blow up everything, if there were a lava lake above us, it might just become a literal lava tunnel. 
we're gonna head on back what's up everybody this is next day for me probably the same episode for you i haven't decided but most likely the same episode i didn't get too much done in the nether trying to get uh situated here anyway i think what we're actually gonna do we need a lot of sand why i kept hearing a spider in there where's the spider at Stupid spider trying to mess with me. We had a beach. And there's lapis right here. I never even knew, noticed that. And we have sand here. But how much can we really get? Let's see real quick how much we can get from this. Quickly. I mean we do have aqua affinity. I kind of forgot that. We might be able to get a ton from here actually. Because we're like really breaking this up. Do, do, do. Let's see how much we get, and then we'll go from there. I was debating on if I need to run to a desert, because my plan is to blow... Oh, wait. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I mean, it may take a little longer this way, but honestly, if I go run around for a long time, I may never find a desert. So let me... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, land so we can destroy again. As long as I'm standing on the ground, I really destroy. I mean, it goes pretty quick underwater, but nothing like above. I'm yeah, if it would all float, that would be, like, way easier to collect. Because it's like, I can't actually control how much I'm tearing apart. Because it's like, it destroys it. It just tears it apart. I mean, the ground disappears in seconds with that, you saw. Yeah, that should be plenty for right now. I'm going to collect everything I can real fast. I'll be good with this. I'll come back and get more, I'm sure, but... Wait, I think it's four. It's just popped in my head, the recipe, a little bit. I think it's a plus, like, without the center. And the gunpowder is an X, so that would be... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that will, though. I think it's four. If it's four... I don't even know if I have enough gunpowder, to be honest, but I am going to go heal my uh, shovel, I guess. I'm going to beat them to death with a shovel, and I'm going to heal up my pick while I'm up here. At some point, I would like to do some exploring in the overworld, but part of me hates exploring knowing that I can get an elytra sometime in the future. Not too far in the future, actually. If I... Get ancient debris. I mean, I still have quite a few steps. But the ancient debris is probably the toughest step left. Well, finding an elytra is actually probably the toughest step. Because last time I wandered around for like an hour to find a fortress. And now I have information and I know not every... End, what are they called? I forget what they're called there. In cities? Yeah. Not every in city has a ship, which that's where the elytra is, so yeah. Obviously, since I've gotten two, so in total for my tools, I need one, two, three. Can you get another eye bow? Guys, I'm going to look it up because I honestly don't know. Can you get netherite bow? No netherite bow. Come on. There are monsters just freaking everywhere in the savannah, to be honest. You can't get me now. Oh, crap. They can break doors? Since when can monsters break doors? Since when can they do that crap? They've never broken a door before. Is there like a rare chance that they just decide like, hey, this door, or is that Acadia door like so weak they just want to break it? Well, either way, I'm just leaving the sand there for, oh, I need my sand. 
What's up everybody? Since I went to my tower with full inventory, I had to make another trip to the top in just a little bit. I make some TNT here. Then I make a trip to the top of the tower, get the rest of my gunpowder, come back down. I need more sand to make it because I forgot I had a little bit in my chest here. So I ended up uh, having to farm some more sand for a little bit. But eventually we end up with all our TNT. At this point, I want to thank everyone so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's blow some stuff up.